Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. So if we consider sun as the body, right, and we are talking about this meridian passage calculation, so please remember that to find out the time of meridian passage, whether it is GMT or ship's time of meridian passage, we must know what is the approximate longitude at which the meridian passage will take place. At meridian passage, wherever you are, LAT is 12 o'clock, LMT to be seen from the almanac. When we apply uh, LIT to the LMT, we get the GMT of meridian passage. Let's take a simple example. Suppose we uh, happen to be in 75 degrees west. This is the DR longitude at the time of meridian passage. The LMT from the almanac is suppose 1214. So LIT for 75 degrees is actually 5 hours. Longitude west, G west, so for finding out GMT, we have to add 5 hours, so that becomes 17 hours, 14 minutes. That is the GMT meridian passage. Time zone is positive for westerly longitude and negative for easterly longitude. If the time zone is 5 hours, 30 minutes, then what is the ship's time of meridian passage? So it will be 4, 11.44. The ship's time of meridian passage is to be found like this. I will be uh, basically doing the very simplified part of the observer's rational horizon today whereby I am going to relate say latitude, declination and meridionals and distance. Without making the triangle we can find out what is the relationship between these. We will also see what is the relationship between the latitude, declination and the rising azimuth or latitude, declination and the amplitude. So today I will concentrate on uh, these simplified calculations which can be done at the time of rising of the body or at the time of meridian passage. So let us uh, understand uh, this concept by a very very simple numerical. For example, I might say that if the latitude of observer is 30 degrees north and the declination is 10 degrees north, what is the meridional altitude? or meridional zenith distance at the time of crossing of the meridian when the body crosses the meridian what will be the altitude or the zenith distance actually uh, this can be done without uh, doing any calculations uh, just by remembering a thumb rule that L difference D gives you MZD right L difference D gives you MZD and the rule is same name subtract different name add Say for example latitude is 30 degrees north and declination is also 10 degrees north, both north names, same name, subtract. So 20 degrees will be MZD. So 70 degrees, 90 minus 20 will be meridian altitude. Let us look at the same thing with the help of a diagram. This is the observer's rational horizon diagram. And whenever we draw the diagram, we divide it in four parts as I told you. We write down V. This is north, this is south, this is z. Now this is like a dome. You are looking at a dome from top when you want to. Uh, actually the observer is looking from the center of the earth but to understand the numerical as if we have put a dome and z is the highest part and this entire circle is zero altitude. Now uh, when the latitude is north as I told you to have the observer or his zenith in the center of the picture we have to put the equinoctial by 30 degrees to the south of normal position. So actually if I divide uh, this portion into 9 parts, right? Ten, twenty, thirty 30 degrees, this is the, this is the equinoctial WQE and this represents the latitude that is 30 degrees by an equal amount the north celestial pole will come down from the normal position. So a north celestial pole is called elevated pole and the south celestial pole which cannot be seen is called depressed pole. We cannot see the pole. Another thing which I told you that the declination we are concentrating we are not talking about the rising or setting at the moment we are concentrating on the meridian passage. The meridian passage will be done at 
this point because the declination of the body is 10 degrees north so I have told you before declination 10 degrees north means north of equinoctial the declination is measured on the meridian and from the equinoctial right in this diagram you can see only two meridians one is this meridian this is called observer celestial meridian and the other meridian on the other side that is observer's inferior meridian now this particular meridian is crossed by the body at this point and if we draw a declination circle it would be like this of course this particular arc or this particular arc is called amplitude now this is the diagram to show the meridian passage of the body now here you can see that the meridional zenith distance that is zx is equal to so much and you can clearly see that meridional zenith distance is 20 degrees right which means meridian altitude which will be measured from here to here is 70 degrees right so uh, for a situation that is latitude 30 degrees north and declination 10 degrees north here you can see in the diagram the meridional zenith distance is 20 degrees and meridian altitude is 70 degrees Now let's take another situation where uh, let us say that the observer's latitude is something like 40 degrees south and let's have the names different. So uh, uh, latitude is 40 degrees south and declination 20 degrees north. Uh, latitude 40 degrees south, declination 20 degrees north. It is required to find out what is the meridian of zen distance and meridian altitude and what is the azimuth at that time. Let's take the situation where latitude is 40 degrees south, 20 degrees north. If we want to do this numerical without drawing the observer's rational horizon diagram, then uh, I can say that L difference D equal to MZD, but it is different name, so add. So L difference D or MZD will be equal to 60 degrees, right? It is different name, so I add 60 degrees. So meridian altitude will be equal to 30 degrees. But in the diagram, let us see how it happens. Uh, to draw the observer's rational horizon diagram, we will once again draw a circle, divide it in four parts. Write down V, north south. Center of the picture is Z. Now latitude is 40 degrees south, so equinoctial must go to north. by 40 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40 from this point the equinoctial will be drawn. Uh, sometimes if you are drawing it with uh, the compass then uh, uh, you can draw a circle very easily like this. You can draw a circle like this. You join WQ and you draw perpendicular bisector where it meets the meridian at this point is the center if you want to draw a circle passing through W, Q and E. Uh, that was just for your information. I'll remove this. Okay. Now, uh, declination is 20 degrees north. You must always say for declination 20 degrees north means 20 degrees north of equinoctial because I told you declination is measured from the equinoctial and on the meridian. This is the south celestial pole which is elevated. So, this is inferior meridian. Now, this particular meridian which has got observer zenith on it is observer celestial meridian. So I, on the meridian from the equinoctial I measure 20 degrees so it is 10 and 2 20 degrees and once again uh, I know the amplitude by the formula because sine amplitude is equal to sine d upon cos l. Sine amplitude is equal to sine d upon cos l. So I know latitude and declination I can find out amplitude. Angle at zenith or this arc of observer's rational horizon is amplitude. Now once again we can find out a center from where we can draw this arc passing through the rising and setting point and meridian passage point, right? Normally it is indicated by the pect line, right? So this is the apparent daily path D dash D. Okay, so now uh, this particular thing is the declination. 
this particular length is the latitude represents observer's latitude observer's latitude is also represented over here now you can see from here to here is 90 degrees this is 40 this is 20 that means uh, the meridional zenith distance is 60 degrees and meridional altitude is 30 degrees remember altitude is measured on observer's vertical circle if you consider this observer's rational horizon diagram every radius or every diameter is observer's vertical circle so this is also observer's vertical circle so altitude is measured on observer's vertical circle and altitude is measured from observer's rational horizon right so 30 degrees is the altitude at the time of meridian passage